told my mama I'm down with the practice, but I'm sorry, I just pop one of them again. I told that bitch that you don't gotta worry, cause when this is over, I'm fucking your friend. I swear to God, I got fear on my heart, but I put that on me. Hey man, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Clark Pello, aka YKP, whatever you guys want to call me, and I'm back with another back in YouTube video. If you guys can't read, go back to school, but if you guys can read, you'll see the title of today's video. Today, doing my very, 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 very first video in the new house. Now, I know I already dropped a little vlog. I don't know if this is going to come out, this video is going to come out before or after it, like the house tour that I want to do, because once the house gets more furnished, you know what I'm saying, I want to do a way more in-depth house tour, because the first one was kind of just us moving in, but you haven't really seen how we're living, you feel me? So, I still want to get to that. Don't think I, you know what I'm saying, didn't realize, didn't realize that. But, today... As you guys can see in the title, I am doing a well-awaited video. Honestly, you guys have been asking me this shit for literally like I'm not even like long, dumbass long. Since I got my grill like the first time when I was like a freshman, like you guys have been asking me all about my jewelry. So, all right, you guys, I just there's gonna be like 400 breaks in this video. I I just had I just filmed this just fucking that's besides the point. Basically, what I want to say is this is in this video. It looks kind of fucked up in the beginning, like I'm switching outfits and shit and it's different days, but I end up getting to the point. So I just want to let you guys know, like, don't worry. And please stay tuned because there is a special guest in this video that you guys are going to look out for. I'm sorry, the camera's here. That you guys are, have probably been waiting for, like a real special guest. So just please, if you guys have been, if you guys know my channel, just fucking wait for the special guest. All right, you guys. So the first pendant I want to talk about in today's my go pen that I got from Easy Jewelry. I have a 3.5 millimeter chain and a nice fat juicy ass go pendant now you guys are probably asking for prices and shit like that looking to get something like this it'll probably run you something like six seven hundred dollars you feel me when you get a 3.5 heavyweight chain like this and a nice old big pendant but the thing is is easy jewelry is gonna keep you right and if you go over there right now for the christmas special you can get this pendant on sale and you can get this chain on sale shout out to easy this is not a paid promo i just fucking love them and i love shopping with them they always take care of me they're just the best jewelry out here in sacramento i wanted to get an iced out goat pendant how long ago but it was like four bands from icebox and i was like bro i'm not gonna put myself in a dumbass situation and just spend dumbass money on something that's not gonna do anything for me so instead i went and invested in merch you know what i'm saying got everything else in order and i'm back on my youtube and then I finally felt like this was my first real confident piece towards my business. I bought this because I felt like everything I was doing was on some goat shit, on some baby goat shit. Like I was finishing my merch, I finally got my house, I'm, I'm back on YouTube, I'm making music, I'm fucking playing college soccer, like everything is just on top of its game. So I felt like that's why I needed to get this, to just show what the fuck I've been through and what the fuck I'm on right now. That's that pendant, let's get the next piece of jewelry. All right, you guys, so the next piece of jewelry I wanna show you guys is like a collection of three different pieces. And it kinda sucks because, bro, I literally used to have, like I, I, I honestly just don't know what happened to this shit. I used to have raw ass pendants of this Vivian Westwood shit and they're just gone like they're just not in my jewelry box right now like I'm not even joking with you they're just not in here I used to have raw ass pendants like hopefully I can find pictures of them and put them up because you guys will know I used to have raw ass Vivian Westwood pendants but the first Vivian Westwood pendant I'm gonna show you is this little one I have right here I got this on Melrose when I went over there to Vivian Westwood shop now if you guys don't know what Vivian Westwood is it's just another like designer or not designer you know what I'm saying fashionable beautiful artistic multicultural vibrant a little brand you know what I'm saying that a lot of people started to ride the wave of on TikTok a few years ago or like a year ago and I was on this shit before everyone was and I just want to explain that you know what I'm saying I was one of the people that was letting natives know about their sauce so Vivian Westwood great ass jewelry but I mean the thing is is like certain pendants and pieces uh if I'm being honest they don't they don't run that long but the ones that I have have all done pretty good you know what I'm saying like this one right here actually is from a keychain and I wear this as a pendant because you know I'm saying that's just that's just the sauce like bro honestly if you guys have ever seen me with this, this shit looks hella hard when I wear it as a pendant so and that's where the sauce comes from brain inventing new shit I don't know look basically I tried recording this already and I'm not gonna bullshit it Mari is here Mari is right here Mari's gonna walk into the frame I don't know what what just happened with the video film I don't know what you guys have seen because the camera footage just fucked up so many times I think I was in it you were in it, but like it stopped. But just to run down, Mari is back. No. But but back in this but, video. Yes. The main word I was trying to use was I will try. Like with a capital T, capital R, capital Y. I and will an try to get back on YouTube. So in my videos in the past, I've been saying I'm back, I'm back, I'm consistent, Mari, da, 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 you know, all the bullshit. But now you're just being true to yourself. Now I'm gonna be true to myself, true to y'all. Oh, once again, I don't know if y'all heard it, I'm not dead. I am alive. I am still here. I'm just not on. I'm just not live on YouTube. Let's just put that in. And um, yeah, I will try to get back. So. Bro, because the thing is, is life really hits, bro. Like, and you really get to like, bro, YouTube's always going to be here. Like, we always get to come back and like, you feel me? That's the blessing about it. It's like, you really do get to go and invest. Like, you could go hibernate for seven months to a year and mm -hmm. come back out with a different person and do YouTube. Like, so. Exactly. 
Well, it depends yeah. on how you're, if you're a loser or not. Yeah. <laughs> if your base is still messing with you, which yeah. some of y'all are, which I hope y'all are, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a journey though, bro. It's gonna be a journey to see what's gonna get back on time. I've had I've had to do a lot of like mental recapping on life and. I don't. I'm, I don't live with my parents no more, so it's not as easy just to go get up and go buy all this shit. It's it's way harder. I gotta keep a lot of shit in consideration. So, um, yeah. So I might be transitioning into a different type of YouTuber as opposed to what y'all are used to me seeing, which is going to the mall, buying hella shoes, buying hella clothes, and doing all this other. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, we're gonna have to transition into something new, which is a part of growth. So we yeah, just gonna have to feel me. Just adapt to the new surroundings. But yeah, once again, let's get back into the jewelry reader for like the fifth time. So literally, bro, the fifth time. All right, baby. Now the next thing that I want to show you guys is something I already definitely showed you guys the other day, but it was my lightning pendant that I had with my ring. I know I showed you guys the ring earlier, but I told you guys that I had the pendant. <laughs> they have no toilet paper. There is toilet paper. <laughs> my fault. Man. I don't want to go in. All right, you guys. So like I was saying, you know what I'm saying. The little gold, I mean the little diamond pendant. You guys can see it right there, the matching. The next thing that I want to show you guys, I, like I have the expensive diamonds or whatever, you know what I'm saying? That I have another pendant I'm going to show you guys later, my AK pendant. Actually, I won't even, I'll just put a picture of it right now because I was supposed to show it the other day, but there's been so much shit happening with the camera and shit like that in the recording that I just, I'm not gonna have access to it right now, but I'll show you guys that AK pendant, that fully iced out one. That one's hella hard, and that's the type of shit that I like wearing, you know what I'm saying, when it's like, I don't know, shit like this, like the pendant just looks cool, and it's, you know what I'm saying, it's me, I fuck with that. But on the on the flip side of things, the more fashionable designer, you feel me, the drip side of things, I really, really love these three rings right here, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, you guys, so the three rings that I have right here are my Gucci ring right here on my pinky on the left, my chrome hearts ring right there with I think they're amethyst, amethyst or sapphires or rubies or something like that, some stone. And then my other chrome hearts ring right there. Those are my favorite little, you know what I'm saying, drip rings. I really, really fuck with this one, this Gucci ring. This shit's hella hard. I don't know if I've already showed you guys this earlier in the other clips from yesterday, but I'm just reminding you guys this shit's hella hard. And then the other two that I have, and this is the type of shit that I like wearing because this is the shit that people don't really, you know what I'm saying? This is not super flashy. It's not super crazy. I could throw this on and you wouldn't really know what's going on. And you wouldn't even know that it's like $2,000 worth of jewelry sitting right in front of your face. You feel me? And it's not to flex on anyone. It's just literally broke because I really like the jewelry. And it's like, it's just the way I get to express myself. You feel me? But, but yeah, you guys, there's my Chrome Hearts rings and my one Gucci ring. I got this Gucci ring with the fucking white gold, uh, yellow gold Louis ring that I got on Melrose. And I fucking lost it in LA. Bro, I've lost so much. I could literally make a video, add up everything. I'm Show a picture of what I had and add up everything I lost. And I guarantee you it'd be like $20,000 worth of shit, literally. Of shit that I have lost in the last year. Literally. I've lost a thousand dollar ring. I've lost like five hundred dollar rings. I've lost like two. No, I lost one two fifty ring. I lost like three chains. I lost my Balenciaga beanie, my Burberry scarf. I've lost my bro, my Versace glasses. I've lost so many things. And that's why you can't get attached to materialistic things because this shit comes and goes, you guys. Like I'll make a jewelry collection in another like three years, and I promise you. All of this jewelry probably won't be here. And if it is, it's probably because I don't. You got to wear your shit and get it out. Don't be too stingy about your shit. And you know what I'm saying? Just live y'all life. Y'all y'all don't get too confused by all this jewelry and all this bullshit that I'm showing you guys. This shit is really just for the fun of it. You feel me? This is just shit that I get to do because it's part of the grind. You just get to spend your money. But don't don't look at this shit and think that this is what determines what you're on or what you're not on. You feel me? This jewelry shit is really nothing. You guys have... You guys can see other people out there right now that have $30,000 chains and $25,000 in their teeth and they don't have a house. So... Before you guys get into any of this shit and start spending your money, make sure you guys' priorities are straight and you guys are getting everything in hand because it's dumb as fuck to start spending shit on this that doesn't do anything for you and only loses value. And I just want to give you guys free game. Any other real rich ass person will tell you that. Anyone with a great mindset will tell you that. Don't invest into this shit because it doesn't make you any money until you're actually comfortable with spending shit like this. You feel me? But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, Please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to come kick with the cool. Because, like, Clark, I really appreciate you guys so much for sticking by my side. Like I said, Consistent Clark is back. Consistent Clark is back in the kitchen. Consistent Chef Clark is back in the kitchen. You feel me? We're back in the kitchen. I want to be on my YouTube shit. I want to be consistent. I, I just, everything I've been doing behind the scenes, though, has been for my YouTube. Like, the merch and everything that's coming out. Jesus Christ. All the mer merch and everything that's coming out is all for you guys. Literally, I've just been putting all this work in for you guys. So, don't think I forgot. You know what I'm saying? Bust it open like a thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see all your... Make sure you follow me on Instagram, actually. Hold the fuck up. Follow me on Instagram. You niggas been not following me recently. Like, no. Follow me on Instagram. I don't give a fuck. 
Follow me right now. Literally, click off YouTube. Go to Instagram. Follow, bro, click off. Go right now. Literally, go to it. Are you good? You follow me? Are right, we good? That's you know what I'm saying. I'll put the Instagram up right here if you guys needed it. But I just follow my Instagram. But without any further ado, I'll see you guys all later. I'll keep you on waiting. You know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all later. Peace.